75 years ago tonight, the Nazi regime in Germany encouraged rioters to burn synagogues and attack Jewish businesses. At least 91 Jews died. The incident is known as the Night of Broken Glass. And the escalation of attacks on Jews by Nazis led to the Holocaust. Now there's been a major discovery of more than a thousand pieces of art looted by the Nazis. Many of the works belong to Jews. Elizabeth Palmer has more. It was a treasure trove of modern masterpieces by the likes of Matisse, Chagall, Otto Dix. Now in the hands of German prosecutors, for decades it had lain hidden here inside a nondescript Munich apartment. The paintings are believed to be Nazi plunder, the spoils of a huge art grab by Hitler during the war, often from the collections of wealthy Jews. Which ended up in the hands of Cornelius Gurlitt, son of Hildebrand Gurlitt, an art dealer for the Nazis. Julian Radcliffe runs the London-based Art Loss Register. He was a dealer um, at the beginning of the war. His Jewish connections would have enabled him to know many of the places where this good art was held by Jewish collectors or dealers. After Germany's defeat, Allied forces did recover some of the stolen paintings, but the vast majority simply disappeared. Until now, when a tax investigation of Cornelius Gurlitt by German authorities led them to more than a thousand precious works believed lost in the chaos and ruins of World War II. For CBS This Morning Saturday, I'm Elizabeth Palmer.